Hi, I'm Kelly Young with American Rifleman. The huge majority of AR-15s on the market today are 16-inch carbines chambered in 223 Remington, which to me is just incredibly boring. CMMG, on the other hand, is a company that's never been afraid to experiment in chambering its ARs in cartridges other than 223 Remington. This week's Gun of the Week is an example of one of the company's newest model offerings chambered in one of its newest cartridge offerings, the 57 by 28 millimeter chambered MK57 Banshee. Now, while there actually is an SBR in this line, this particular example is a pistol with a tail hook mod 2 pistol brace in place instead of a traditional buttstock. And now, models with 8 inch barrels are also offered, but this one is even more compact with a 5 inch barrel, which keeps the overall length of this gun from between about 20 to 23 inches long. Unloaded, this Banshee is less than 5 pounds, which makes it just an incredibly light, compact, easily maneuverable handy package. Unlike your standard direct impingement AR, this gun uses CMMG's radial delayed blowback system in order to operate. This allows for the use of both a lighter weight buffer and a bolt carrier, which means less reciprocating mass while firing, which by extension means less felt recoil. And given that the 57 by 28 millimeter cartridge is not known for its recoil in the first place, it should give you an idea of just how controllable this gun is. Both the upper and lower receivers are made of 7075 T6 aluminum, and in this case the gun has been Cerakoted a slate gray color. CMMG's guns that are chambered in this round make use of FN57 pistol magazines, and the one that ships with this gun is a ProMag 20 rounder. Uh, controls for this gun are pretty standard for the AR platform, however kudos to CMMG for making the charging handle, safety selector, and sling plate all bilateral for left-handed or right-handed use. The company did have to redesign the magazine release button a little bit in order to make it compatible with the 5.7 magazines, however it is still located in the traditional location on the right side of the receiver. The gun's barrel is threaded half by 28 for use with a suppressor or a muzzle brake, and it comes with a thread protector installed. However, if you're planning to use a rimfire can for this gun, make sure first that it is rated to handle the 5.7x28 cartridge. Many are, but some are not, so just be aware. The MK57's handguard comes with about 4 inches of pick rail along the top, as well as a single M-lock slot on the 3, 6, and 9 o'clock faces, and also there's just the small lip on the bottom to help the shooter keep his hand away from the muzzle. On the range, the Banshee was easy to shoot, easy to keep on target, and has run with no problems whatsoever. Recoil is just a little bit more than you may be accustomed to with a rimfire, which is to say pretty much negligible. However, in a barrel this short, the blast is pretty loud. 57 by 28 millimeter is a great little cartridge. The only real knocks I have against it are the limited number of guns that fire it, and just ammo availability in general, two problems that are directly related to each other. With the introduction of a quality new firearm chambered in the little cartridge, Hopefully, demand for the 57 by 28 will increase, and ammo manufacturers will decide to show it some love. For more information on CMMG's MK57 Banshee pistol, visit cmmginc.com.